smarts, is there really such a thing as a broken heart? Every day, 2,600 Americans die of cardiovascular disease. One person every 33 seconds. And despite big medical advances, more than 650,000 new heart attacks take place every year. That's why many believe that emotions may have a physiological effect on the heart. Cardiologist Mimi Garneri. The heart is something that is affected by emotions, affected by grief, affected by love. In fact, studies at the HeartMath Institute in Northern California indicate the heart is more than a pump. It actually sends messages to the brain. Uh, if we're stressed a lot, feeling anxiety or frustrated or angry, that causes the heart to beat in a more chaotic rhythm and pattern, and that's creating less efficiency in the heart. It's having to work harder. Physiologically, how does sadness or unhappiness physiologically impact the heart? Well, let's talk for a second about stress. People can relate to that. When you're emotionally upset, you produce stress hormones. So things like cortisol, which raise blood sugar, adrenaline, which raise blood pressure, increase the heart rate, make the heart skip beats, and constrict coronaries. So we see many people having a cardiovascular event after having a stressful situation. All right, so let's look at the flip side of the coin then. If negative emotions, anger, frustration, depression, can impact the heart negatively, can someone who is happy, who is joyous, who, who walks around with a great sense of humor and a positive outlook, does, does that positively impact their heart? Is there a physiological measurement of that? Absolutely, because when we are in a happy emotional state, as you just saw in the heart math program, the heart beats in a coherent rhythm. When we are angry and frustrated and tense, the heart pattern is totally chaotic. And there's now research documenting this and showing this. We do the kind of work you just saw at Scripps. We'll put in the stent, but we say we also have to do the deeper work. In addition to the diet and exercise, we really need to get people to work on things like forgiveness, gratitude, look at whether they're angry or hostile. These are important when it relates to the heart. All of us get angry from time to time, and occasionally we say things we later regret. But where does anger come from? How can heated emotions cause us to lose complete control? Until recently, most doctors believed that anger came from negative thoughts in our brain. But now new research shows that if we want answers, we should really look to our heart. In the hills of Boulder Creek, California, 70 researchers and scientists at the Institute of Heart Math have spent the last seven years exploring the untapped potential of the human heart. And what they have found could significantly improve our health. It's been known for many, many years that the heart has neurons in it and sensory neurites that send information back to the brain. Roland McCready and Deborah Rosman, HeartMath's co-founders, believe the heart literally talks to the brain. More importantly, they say the heart actually has a mind of its own. It can learn, it can remember, and the signals or information that the heart sends back to the brain or head can have profound influences on the way that our brain functions. Here's how it works. The heart has the same peptides or amino acids that are secreted from the brain. Because of these peptides, the heart functions much like the brain, which makes the likelihood of a link between our hearts and our health that much greater. This is the HeartMath Lab where we research stress and emotions and disease like headaches, PMS, sleeplessness that people have from stress-related disorders. HeartMath has found that when our hearts are calm, hormone levels that influence the immune system become more balanced. Attitudes and emotions affect health and well-being. Stress affects health. So as you come more into balance, you release all that stress, your immune system improves, hormonal changes occur, and you really do feel better. You have more passion to be who you can really be. Heart math researchers believe that more than anything else, stress and anger can profoundly disrupt the brain-heart connection. I call it the physiology of why anger makes you stupid, or why very intelligent people can often make very inefficient choices. And, the theory goes, these negative emotions can lead to greater risk of health problems. If we're feeling time pressure, frustrated, uh, anxious, worried, these type of things, that causes the cortical inhibition, okay, which means we can't think as clearly, can't move as quickly, our coordination is affected in an adverse way. So by focusing our attention in the area of the heart and shifting to a positive emotional state, and that affects the information sent up to the brain, 
so that we can think clearer, reduce stress in the moment, make better decisions, and balance our nervous system. The question is, how do you shift to a positive emotional state? HeartMath has developed an exercise they say will help. It's called Freeze Frame. Freeze Frame is uh, a tool that allows you to stop stress in the moment and get the head and heart in sync and apply more intelligence right when you need it. To get the heart and mind in sync, Freeze Frame asks the user to go through five steps. The beauty of the Freeze Frame technique is it's portable. It's a simple technique that anyone can learn. Doctors are using Freeze Frame. Cardiologist Thomas Gregory Quinn in Oakland, California, recommends it to his patients. I prescribe the heart math techniques to a number of patients, uh, particularly those with heart disease and who are having trouble managing stress in their lives, and it's been met with uh, wonderful success. If you are quick to anger, if you are the type of person that feels the pressure of never having enough time, these are independent risk factors for sudden death. The freeze frame technique can lessen that reaction. This technique can help people with medical conditions like heart, imbalanced heart rhythms. It can help people reduce the stress that's associated with a lot of medical problems. Fibromyalgia, we've seen improvements there. High blood pressure, hypertension, chronic fatigue, feeling tired or exhausted a lot of the time. In fact, I can't think of a medical problem that is not helped by the freeze frame technique. HeartMath hopes its message will help women live happier, healthier lives by becoming more aware of the power of the heart. Go to your heart, listen to your heart, follow your heart. You will find your balance and your passion because your intuition, your inner knowing comes from your balanced heart. In medical news tonight, lessons from the heart. Many ancient doctors believe quite sincerely that the heart was the seat of the mind the organ which warmed the blood and fueled the spirit. Modern science tells us the heart is merely a pump. But maybe it's more than that after all. Here's ABC's Deborah Amos. The most dangerous part of Police Sergeant Michael Guerra's job is stress. So a couple of times a day, he does a simple mental exercise, a kind of meditation, but he focuses on his heart. He gets results within minutes. The simplest language, the stress goes away. The anxiety, uh, if I just feeling that uh, maybe my blood pressure's up or, or just feeling nervous. The computer program monitors his heart rhythms, shows him when he has changed those rhythms. The technique is based on new research from the HeartMath Institute in Boulder Creek, California. Studies done here have shown the heart can send powerful, calming, and healing commands to the entire body. It works because the heart actually works like a small brain. It not only controls itself, but also can direct that big brain in our head. When you begin to shift the heart, it begins to shift the rest of the body. Howard Martin, a senior trainer, demonstrates how to focus and calm the heart. In this case, after the aggravations of heavy California traffic. Shift your attention away from that traffic and to the area right in the center of your chest, the area of the heart. The key is to get that small brain in the heart to calm down. The computer shows the changing heart rhythms. Now what I'd like you to do is to recall a, a positive feeling or time you've had in your life and attempt to re-experience it. Remarkably, simply by recalling a positive emotion, the heart rhythms smooth out in just a few minutes. When we're able to maintain a positive state, that helps people recover from congestive heart failure, diabetes, high blood pressure. Hands over your heart. Focusing on the heart also okay. works for children. At New Horizons School in Fremont, California, teacher Santa Maria Johnson instructs her first grade class. We're going to get rid of all of our stresses. It gets all the sad feelings that happen to me at the playground. Every time? Mm -hmm. There is a marked difference in their attitudes and behaviors inside of the classroom. For children and adults, behaviors that come from the heart. Deborah Amos, ABC News, Boulder Creek, California.